The number three Lady Vols basketball team opened up the regular season with a 32 point win over Pepperdine. Now after the game, Pat Summit handed over the mic to associate head coach Holly Warlick once again to answer questions from the media. So we've learned this is probably going to be routine throughout the season. Can't blame her though. But of course, Summit couldn't hide from the spotlight before the game. She received the much deserved 2011 Courage Award from the U.S. Sports Academy. The Lady Balls pumped up to open up the regular season to the action. First half, UT with the trap. Vicky Ball comes up with a steal and then on the break she hits a wide open Shakina Strickland and Strickland drops it in off the window to give UT a six point lead. She finished with 13. Later, Megan Simmons spins off her defender, pulls up and knocks down the short J for two of her 13 points and Simmons was hyped after that. Lady Balls go on an 8-0 run and Pepperdine needs a timeout. Good call by the ways because they cut the UT lead down to seven when Sky Barnett cleans up on the putback. But the Lady Balls were up 36-21 at the half and then they went to work in the second. Tabor Spaney, money from downtown. Spaney finished with 11 points and five assists and then check out the dime she drops in transition here behind the back to Glory Johnson. Johnson finishes at the net. Glory Johnson leading the Lady Balls with a double double 17 points, 13 rebounds, and Tennessee cruises by Pepperdine 89 57 the final. But according to Coach Warlick, it wasn't enough. Really disappointed in our one on one defense. We put a lot of time in that and uh, we just weren't very good. And we turned the ball over. 22 times, and if you turn the ball over 22 times, um, you're going to have a hard time winning the basketball game. But uh, let's keep it all in perspective. Proud of our players for, for finishing, and but we've got to get better. we got to get a whole heck of a lot of better before Tuesday. Yeah, the Lady Balls will have their first real test when the seventh-rate Miami Hurricanes roll into town on Tuesday. Tip-off scheduled for 6 o'clock.